Mortuary Department. Element E.4, sub element 7, Activities of Auditing, D. Documentation, SI, Staff Interview, O. Observation, Score, Not Applicable, 0, 1, or 2. Sub element E, 4.1. There is a written policy and procedure that address safe handling of dead bodies, including post mortem handling of patients under isolation precautions and bodies with open wounds, and it's done by documentation. Preparing the disease for mold always involves the handling of blood, body fluids, and biological agents, and may also involve exposure to life threatening biological, chemical, radiation, or electrical currents. Clear infection control standard and guideline on the appropriate care of the body following death to protect healthcare workers, more staff and families from potential infectious exposure must be strictly implemented. Review the policy which should be comprehensive, fully applicable, based on scientific references, signed for authorized personnel, approved by IC Comet, valid update within two to three years and when indicated. Sub-elements E 4.2 Hand hygiene facilities and supplies are available and easy accessible and it's done by observation. Observe the mark to ensure that there are adequate hand washing facilities equipped with all required supplies and or alcohol-based hand wrap dispenser. Definition of adequate hand hygiene facilities. Adequate refers to present of hand hygiene facilities within the working area. For example, work staff do not need to leave his working area to reach a hand hygiene station of another area. Adequate also refer to present of dedicated hand washing facility with proper supplies apart from sinks used for any other working purposes. Element E 4.3 The mortuary looks clean. There is a schedule of housekeeping activities, cleaning and disinfection for all environment services including the inside of refrigerating and deep freezing equipment. And it's done by documentation, observation and staff interview. Review documents that demonstrate ventilation and housekeeping activities of the morgue environment. Appropriate evidence of application. 1. Morgue housekeeping schedule with a clear role and responsibilities of housekeeping and morgue staff. 2. Morgue housekeeping checklist and check whether the applied process are compatible with the approved policy or not. 3. Ask for MSDS for use chemicals and disinfectants. If autopsy room is available, copies of the original chart or project scheme for ventilation system of autopsy room should be at negative pressure with respect to a distant area and air exchange directly outside within minimum 12 air exchange per hour. Local recorded for regular ventilation monitoring of autopsy room. Negative pressure difference with respect to adjusted area. Temperature and relative humidity. Air exchange per hour. ACH minimum 12 air exchange per hour as recommended. With corrective intervention if reading are not matching the acceptable values. Observation 1. Observe ongoing housekeeping activities and evaluate whether the applied process are compatible with the approved policy or not. 2. Visit Generate's room to check the availability and specification of housekeeping supplies. 
for example, cleaning ingredients, chemical and disinfectants, moves, wipes, spray bottles, buckets, and etc. 3. Check the quality of housekeeping activity. Observe the presence of dust, dirt, soil, etc. that demonstrate defective housekeeping. 4. Observe working and storage area which should be of adequate capacity, well maintained, well organized and regularly cleaned according to the approved housekeeping schedule. No personal item, no food or drinks, no item are kept in the original shipping box. Add more stuff and housekeeping stuff about. 1. The process of cleaning and disinfection of morgue environments. Rules, responsibilities, and recommended PPEs. What are area to be cleaned by morgue stuff and area to be cleaned by housekeeping stuff? What is PPE to be used during cleaning and disinfection activities? Applied housekeeping schedule, applied procedures, available supplies. 2. Their knowledge should be compatible with how hospitals policy and the actual practices. Sub element E 4.4 Transport cadaver bags that fulfill MOH approved specification are available in two sizes and to be used for dead bodies and it's done by observation. Observe transport body bags and body tags and their specifications. 1. Heavy duty cadaver plastic pouch, made of tear resistant, fluid resistant, and impervious material, for example, waterproof phenyl. 2. Bag are of different suitable sizes. 3. Bag can be securely sealed for hygiene using a full length longitudinal zipper for closing. 4. Bag has a convenient access for examination and enclosed through a full length longitudinal zipper. 5. Bag has a suitable pouch to hold the body tag. Sub element E 4.5 All mortuary staff are well trained on hand hygiene, proper use of PBEs, and it's done by observation and staff interview. Sub-element E, 4.6, transportation card that indotes the type of isolation precaution is attached to the dead body of patient under any type of isolation, and it's done by documentation and staff interview. Review the following documents. 1. Logbook used for recording of deceased while under isolation precaution and protective measures taken. 2. Morgue's transportation cards that should be attached to the dead bodies of patients under isolation precautions. Ask the morgue staff. 1. If the nurse in charge communicated with the morgue staff to inform them about infectious status of the deceased and appropriate precaution required. 2. If they receive periodic training about handling dead bodies of patients under isolation precaution. 3. If they are familiar with isolation precaution transportation cards used with the hospital. 4. If information regarding infectious status of the disease is written on identification tag attached to the body bag. Sub-element E 4.7 Mercury staff are fully aware about handling diseased patients due to infectious diseases or dead while under isolation precaution according to the relevant approved hospital policy. And it's done by observation and staff interview. Observe the mark staff for 1. Handling the dead bodies who did under isolation precaution. 2. Observe of hand hygiene is practiced. 3. Hand washing and hand rubbing. 4. Observe of morgue stuff is used appropriate PPEs while handling dead bodies who did under isolation precaution. Appropriate PPEs includes recommended PPEs, use of metal mesh gloves, 
approved respiratory protection is required for prosecutors when performing an autopsy on unknown or suspect case of TB. Ask the more stuff about. 1. Hand hygiene, hand washing and hand rubbing, time, techniques, moment of hand hygiene. 2. Protective cloth and PPEs. 3. If they receive periodic training about standard precaution and handling of diet while under isolation precaution. 4. If they are aware about hospital policy that covers dealing with deceased patients due to infectious disease. 5. If they are properly trained about dealing with blood and body fluid spills. Randomly ask 1 to 3 of the morgue staff about 1. To demonstrate techniques of hand hygiene and hand rubbing. 2. To demonstrate donning and doffing of PPEs. 3. To demonstrate applied procedure for preparing dead bodies before transport from the morgue. 4. To demonstrate the technique of handling blood and body fluid spells.